The topic of this video is how to solder a BNC connector properly. I bought this BNC connector online and most of the BNC connectors use the same principles, at least those for soldering. This BNC connector is made of 8 parts. The housing, pin, restrainer, washer, anchor, rubber sleeve, another washer, and a nut. Cut the cable and make sure it's equal impedance as the connector. For example, a 50 ohm connector should be mounted to a 50 ohm cable. First strip 8 to 12 millimeters of external insulation. Spread the shielding so that you will trim it off easier later. Cut off excess shielding as much as you can. The next step is to remove internal insulation about 4 to 6 millimeters. Now the cable is ready and you can start assembling the connector. First slip on the nut and the washer and the rubber sleeve. Next comes the anchor which will ground the housing properly. You need to push the anchor between the shielding and the internal insulation. Then comes another washer. The restrainer insulates the pin from the ground and acts as a rigid axial support. Make sure you orient the restrainer properly. The pin should go into the cup.
mount the pin and hope that it has a radial hole for easy soldering. All you have to do now is solder the pin through that hole. Remove excess solder if needed with a copper wick. Now add the housing and tighten the nut. I use 10 and 11 mm wrenches in my case, just make sure you tighten all the way. This makes the rubber sleeve constrict the cable and hold the connector in place. And that's it, you're done.